Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Now, as you see, we got a starter motor on this beast. Yes, and it's a brushless motor. So, take my little cherry picker here. I love this cherry picker. I couldn't, like I say, I didn't even know they made these things. But uh, if you look at it, it's pretty scale. It actually pumps up and holds the engine. That engine has been hanging there for about three hours. So, anyways, my video is going to be on the starter motor. Um, if you caught my last video, you see I was working on that brush motor that uh, I couldn't get it working. It's got a dead short inside it. And uh, when I had tried to put it back together, and it does the same thing. You turn it over and it just gets so hot, it like this time started melting the wires. So, this is what I found. I went through some of the stuff I bought. Um, this is a Race Star. Um, it is a. Let me try to get some here. A 2445 sensorless motor. It's 3600 kV. Okay. And uh, I forgot I even had this thing. And this fit the. Uh, the bracket perfectly the only problem I had was the shaft was smaller so over the past year there I had bought a couple of these pulleys that were on eBay um, for the the Toyin um, FS 100 and yeah it's got a little flex to it but it works you know and it works very smooth too so when uh, I just hooked up a, a 45 amp <clears throat> speed control to the thing and uh, ran it off my radio and it it, uh, it worked really well so now I'm gonna borrow a rocker arm off my uh, off my other engine over here for my um, skyline I'm gonna borrow a rocker arm off that and the next video, hopefully, I get time this week, we'll fire this thing up. And uh, and hopefully, we'll take that for a ride, too. I'll put the rocker arm out of this back into that, and we'll take a ride. Because I did take it for a blast. Um, was it last? Oh, Friday, I think it was. I took it out for a blast just to see how the gearing was and all that on it. And it worked out not bad. I mean, it... It could be geared up a little more. The clutch, um, those little clutches they sell on something this heavy, it uh, you know once it spins the tires right over without a problem. It lights them right up. But um, it, once uh, the tires start gripping, then the clutch starts slipping. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to work on a bigger clutch for this thing, and uh, I'm going to try to go through. I don't know if the HBI big block uh, clutch is the same as the Sen 77, but I do have a Sen 77 clutch, and it's a four shoe, and it's a lot bigger than the little ones they sell. If we're gonna put this into like an eight scale or a ten scale, you know, or a, a lightweight six scale, you could probably get away with using a smaller clutch. But anyway, so just wanted to give you guys an update that I did find. A starter motor that fits this thing. Toyin FS F100 um, starter cog there. The Race Star um, 2445 brushless motor, and get yourself a 45 amp speed controller. <clears throat> and I went with. A, I mean, I did have a 30. I think a 35 amp that I had on it, but I didn't have the program card to set the punch up. So you got to set the punch up really high, because um, I had hooked that up to this thing, and it it would if you turned it, it would turn on its own, but it didn't have that that punch to take it by itself. So, and you can see I even put the glow plugs in it too to test it, so it does work. And uh, so now we're going to work on some fuel, um, a fuel rail setup, um, and some igniters, and. The rocker arm, and we should be ready to roll. So, anyhow, you guys take care.
I'll catch you later. Like, share, subscribe if you want. I've blown up YouTube this week with a bunch of videos. Uh, you know, I kind of wanted to let everybody see what I was doing. And as you can see in the background, I got lots of projects over there. Lots to get to. So, and I got <laughs> finish up my fifth scale. So, anywho, you guys take care. And I'll catch you later. Adios.